Hello, my name is Leona from Super Conscious Soul and this is your Super Full Moon in Gemini reading. So this part of the reading is going to be for the first six signs and the second part, um, which will be in the next video, will be for the second six signs. So this is from Gemini to Scorpio and the next one after that will be from Sagittarius to Taurus. So, let's get on with the reading. So, at the time when the sun is in Sagittarius and the moon is in Gemini, it creates this binary opposition, this doorway, this gateway, yeah? And this is in terms of the constellations too because this there's a black hole that is actually between those two um signs so what this means is that you can access other realms very easily right now and i think this was kind of highlighted in sagittarius's video because their video was like wow there was elements coming in from all over and what that is is that is because like at the moment the sagittarius is making everybody um want their to look at their sole purpose to look at why they're here but the gemini is stopping people is want people are wanting to communicate and they're wanting to move forward but we have mercury that's in the middle uh, that comes on the same day at the same time about an hour before and kind of is going to put a block to communication so where gemini is a great communicator um it's not going to be quite so easy. So this next two weeks until the full, until the new moon, sorry, we're going to be looking for other ways to communicate. And that is kind of where this other realm comes into it, where this gateway comes in. That is the gateway to like the 4D, the 5D. So this is talking about dreams, visions, um, receiving messages but receiving messages from all different routes so essentially this is a, a sole purpose um reading yeah it's not going to be it's it's lesser it's more about how you connect to your sole purpose than than what's going to happen to you this is about how you can utilize this energy in a beneficial way and i would also say that it's probably best to watch both videos just because it's about not being um, an individual at certain times. Sometimes it's best to look at all the aspects because we do contain them within ourselves. And that is how, that is, when we're in the 5D realm, it's all about that unity. It's all about realizing that we are all part of one. So it's very easy, you could very easily watch both parts, of, both halves of this reading and it should resonate in some ways. So, the first card we're doing is Gemini. So, this card is talking about summer and winter. Now, what this is saying for you, Gemini, is that you're going to want to move forward. You're going to want to move forward with your plans. But it's asking you to recognise what energy are you moving forward with. Like, are you, what are you putting your energy into? That's what it's asking you to ask yourself. What are you applying your energy to? And it's saying to put them plans into motion, step by step. It's asking you to use that summer energy, to use that energy to realise um, what you want to go for, to utilise that forward movement, but to do it in a, in a way where you're going towards what you want. The meditation for this, whether, even whether that's going um, to the gym, so you're going to start going to the gym and that is going to be a gradual thing. It's not talking about jumping into this with the energy. It's talking about setting man plans in motion for the next phase, for the next harvest, yeah? It's also about um, looking at what you want to harvest, what are you putting your energy into. So the um, meditation for this is asking you to... Imagine you're breathing in the yin and yin energy and breathing out the yang. This is about using that yang to progress you forward, to move you to what you need to do. So it's breathing in this winter and breathing out the summer in order to progress towards what you want to do. So that it would be your meditation for the next couple of weeks. 
We also, for um, Cancer, we have Hilarion or card five. Now this is from the Akashic Tarot. Now this is, Hilarion talks about an ascended master. He's an ascended master. He's asking you to call on Hilarion for um, clarity. It's asking you to, to um, call on Hilarion if there's something that you're trying to study. Something like law. Something like um, very academic. He is very good for this. This is like whatever you're you're putting your your academic mind into. He's saying, look, I'll help bring some clarity. If there's a situation that is going on in your life that needs like clarity, needs law, needs um, a new way to look at it, he's saying that look, call on Alarian, and that would be your meditation. That to call on him and um, allow him to bring clarity to a situation so allow then the meditation to develop so you can feel the clarity and be given that clarity um in terms through meditation or in terms of um even whatever however you get that message it's saying just to call on him and ask for a message even if you ask for a message in the 3d you will get one so then we move to leo and you have Uriel and the Sphinx. Now this talks about wisdom. This talks about knowledge. It talks about a secret inner power. Now Leo, for you guys to connect to your soul purpose and to connect to your inner power, it's about allowing Archangel Uriel to allow you to, to dig you out of your old ways, to dig you out of your old ways and allow you to kind of um be unearthed as a new as a new but this is about your power and your creativity and about reconnecting to that by allowing old habits to to leave you in order to allow this new form to emerge from underneath the sand because these the sphinx gets buried in sand and archangel uriel is asking you to meditate on the fact that allow them to help you unearth this new aspect of yourself and there's this power that you're unearthing and within that power there's a sense of transformation and there's a sense of truth within it and that will be the seat of your power and it's it's like you already knew it was there but it's like you knew it was there but it's just being unearthed so then we move to virgo and we have the eight of scrolls it says paths unknown now for you virgo it's saying that you've been going down a certain path for a while now and it's saying to you look this path is well lit you know this path it's asking you to kind of look for the paths unknown this month to look for new opportunities new 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 things coming into your life to allow them to come in to take the path unknown sometimes to take the darker path sometimes the meditation that comes with this is to connect to imagine yourself um there's a path and it's cloaked before you yeah but you have to step through that cloak and once you do it's about um, allowing yourself to be surprised with what is there yeah and that is what your meditation should be for the next two weeks just to see what it, what you unearth through stepping through new um, paths and facing that fear and going anyway allowing yourself to, to be challenged in new directions so then we have Libra, which is interesting because it's the card in the Akashic Tarot following straight after, and they are following straight after. So Virgo, Virgo, Libra, and the cards are the same. So that's interesting to me. So the Queen of Scrolls talks about somebody who's very wise, a woman who is good at communication. It talks about um, Libra accessing it through their writing skills, through research, through um, doing things that are written and um, communicating through the written word. It could also be somebody coming to give you some form of wisdom or some form of knowledge. So it's about listening out for that sign for you guys. It's about listening for somebody just talking possibly and what they're talking about could impart wisdom without you even realizing. Um, the meditation for this is to ask, is to 
I just imagine that the Queen of Scrolls is coming along and she's handing you this scroll of wisdom. She is handing you this knowledge and in doing so she kind of awakens um, a part of your brain that needed awakening. Okay, so then for Scorpio we have the Seven of Keys, the Seven of Keys and it's the Ascent. So this talks about you being having challenges in front of you at the moment and these could be challenges in terms of um these could be challenges in terms of feeling like you're you're you need to keep up with the determination it's saying it's like you need the will and it is going to be hard to get to the top of this mountain they're saying but you're almost there and it's saying look this you've climbed to the top of this mountain through your own hard work through putting it in your own willpower, your own dedication to the cause, your own energy. It is saying that um, this should you should pat yourself on the back for that and know that it's not luck, it's not some higher force right now. This is you um, being putting in the determination and the effort to create or to go above situations. And they're just acknowledging that. The meditation for this is for you to imagine this energy pushing you up, for you to allow this energy of the seven to keep you going, like you're at the seven. In this tarot, you've got only till the eight, and then you go to the queen key, yeah? So it is saying that just keep going and meditate and allow that energy to keep you determined and to keep you focused and to know that the, the getting to the ascent will be the bonus because you know that you've got there through hard work you've got there through dedication it wasn't about being helped yeah so it's saying yeah so that is the first six signs we're gonna go to the next video and for the next ones and i really do hope this has helped take care stay blessed bye bye